Tinkwana Yabene, Yomokonyi Bumurai Wense, Dr. Rigadi Gashagwa, Digonere, Momochirio Motenir Wikum Bikelikia, NIS, Nordin Haji, Asikaria Tebremuna, Nogo Taikrania, Embremo, Yaye, Boy Kranum, Nigo Boygo, Arokana Koge, Chiguan, Ariana Tokoka, Korekana, Abu Asidit Kurigoro, Asaboygo, Atebremuna, Kium Bikio, Nakigas Nitu Wikrania, Embremo Yai Boy Kranum. Where did the rain begin to beat us? Where did we stop listening to the people? President William Ruto and I were the darling of the Kenyan people. By listening to them, by engaging them. And as a government, we have established institutions to ensure we not only listen to Kenyans, but also genuinely understand their concerns. We invest significant resources in these institutions, particularly the National Intelligence Service for this purpose. It is clear there has been a failure in the intelligence and advice we are receiving, particularly concerning crucial government policies. The President of the Republic of Kenya today has admitted that it has come to his attention that the people of Kenya did not want anything to do with the Finance Bill 2024. The President has now agreed that we need to listen to the people. And I sympathize with my boss, President William Ruto, because this information was not available to him. I know President William Ruto. Had he known two months ago that the people of Kenya did not want anything to do with the Finance Bill 2024, he would not have asked his parliamentary party to push it through. Yet, we have an organization paid by the public to give him and government such information. And that is where the problem is. We have a dysfunctional National Intelligence Service that has exposed the president, the government, and the people of Kenya. Had the National Intelligence Service briefed the president two months ago about how the people of Kenya feel about the Finance Bill 2024, so many Kenyans would not have died. Property would not have been destroyed. Offices would not have been touched. There would have been no mayhem. But they slept on the job. When he was appointed to the office of the Director General, because of inferiority complex, he chased away all the people who were senior to him when he was in the service. They are for crippling the capacity of that service and making it dysfunctional. Three directors were chased away and reassigned to desk jobs in ministries across government. 13 assistant directors, men and women with proven track record of 